Welcome back to Drinks with Matt Danoon. I am super excited to have sake number two in our lexicon of reviews. This is a Hatsumagu Junmai Kimoto Sake. This is a really unique, fun style of sake. Now, if you haven't heard, sake is my favorite fermented beverage. Uh, and it will be yours too if you continue to try it because it's clean, it's pure. Oh my God, does it taste good with everything. But let's go into this sake. So again, we've got a label that's uh, primarily Japanese, which is really where uh, all of them lie. The back label really has all of the English. Um, there is some really good information on the front of this that is missing from some, but it, it, uh, it's not the biggest issue. All right, so what we do have is we have 15 to 16% alcohol. It is a Junmai, meaning 100% pure ingredients, no brewer's spirit added. We're talking uh, koji rice, rice, water, and yeast. No brewer's spirit, okay? And we're also looking at uh, what only needs to be 70% polish is now 60% polish. So it's in the polish rate of a Ginjo, even they're calling it a Kimoto Junmai. Kimoto, what does that mean? Kimoto means that no lactic bacteria is added. It goes through a uh, painstaking Yame Aroshi process where they just churn the water during the Moto or the Shubo, where they're building up the first uh, possible fermentation um, uh, vat of uh, future sake uh, before they add the yeast. This is an old process. Only 10% of all sake is made in the Kimoto style. It produces a full body, a richer flavor, and uh, my, a more intense creaminess, but I digest. Let's give it a try, right? So uh, crystal clear, water white, lovely aroma. Banana, soft apple, some peach, a little bit of tropical flavors on it. I get a little bit of herbaceousness, some light lemongrass, a little bit of basil. Really nice. Let's give it a try. Wonderful mouthfeel. The resistance, the fullness of the body, all from the Komoto style, really lend to the bold aspect of a Junmai Kimoto made in the Ginjo's polish. Uh, it tastes like it smells. It smells like a taste. It's got a wonderful apple presence, really nice, subtle tropical fruit, almost like a melon, not nearly going into the lychee or tropical fruit flavor. The herbaceousness, the lemongrass, the uh, slight glass, grass clove uh, really comes into flavor. Uh, all in all, I would say this is a fantastic sake, and if you have a chance to try a Kimoto style, you really should. If you have a chance to get a bottle of the Hatsumagu Junmai Kimoto, please give it a try. Thank you for coming. Cheers to Drinks with Matt Danoon.